Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to a Wrestling Gap. That's Khalifa. I am Travis. It's Friday. That means we're going to have some story about The Rock and Cody and Roman. Because it's SmackDown? And it's SmackDown time. Oh, I thought it was because it was SmackDown we were going to have that. <laughs> but no, it's not the reason. It's because that's all they know how to do now. Nothing else matters. Yeah. Isn't that a song? It Somebody sure sing it is. to me. Metallica. Nothing else matters. <laughs> we got people in their chat tonight. Hey, people. Missed you guys on Wednesday. It was boring. You guys should have been here. It made my life so much better. But you weren't. So it was sad. Party people. Anyways, but we do have people. We got Walter with us tonight. Hey, Walter, good to see you tonight. I know you're not usually always here, but I'm glad to see you for a minute. But you better not leave before 9 o'clock or else I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to put you on blast about how you don't keep your word of staying till 9. <laughs> Anyways, Walter says, hey, Travis, hey, Daphne. Brandon says, Jade Cargill is back on SmackDown. She yeah, is. she's supposed to be making her debut. Walter says, SmackDown tonight, good matches. Morgan Shumway in the chat. Hey, Morgan, good to see you tonight. Says, was up. Uh, uh, um, well, it looks like Travis is. He's got the highness going on with his cocaine usage. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think cocaine helps with that. It makes that thin. I don't think it does. Anyways, Sophie's in the chat as well. Says, hi, how has your, your week been? It's been so great and glorious. So much fun. Walter says, geez, Cody got hurt on Raw. Yeah, he got his ass beat to death, and now he's dead in the hospital. Nobody will ever see him again. I think they buried him. With death. <clears throat> of course they were. Robert Warney is also in the chat. Hey, Robert, good to see you tonight. How are you doing? Says, hey, what it do? I don't know. You know, things go and stuff. Everybody got plans for Easter. Anybody going to do an Easter egg hunt adult-wise? I think they should have adult Easter egg hunts. I'm not sure what that would entail, but they should. Walter says, Randy Orton okay. And Walter had said at 9 he's going, but he'll be here Monday for Raw, but he's still here. So he says, we'll be seeing blood on WWE TV semi-regularly after this week. Oh, yeah? Maybe not on Fox. Maybe just on Raw. So if he says, how was AEW Dynamite? I don't even remember. We had AEW Dynamite. I tried to forget it. It was like something in my life I tried to like cut out because it made me sad. Anyways, Walter says, Jig Cargill on SmackDown. She will have a pro mo. So he says, I was in here for a second Wednesday night. Yeah, I was glad. I'm glad that you came in and said hi. It was good. Good time. Good, good times. Robert says, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm doing great. Good. I'm glad you're doing so well. Um, Hopefully you had a great week. Do you have to work this weekend? I know who doesn't have to work. Oh, wait, no. Ravi might have to work this weekend. He does work in the mental health field. So, you know. It's time Those changes. people Saturday. don't do anything different. They just sit in little pods all day. Their Sunday or Eating Saturday. their toast Those and beans. They do. They skip you know, models. not only that, but those motherfuckers get Good Friday off and Monday for Easter. What do you mean, so? Like ridiculous Morgan says Did they get the 4th of July off? I'll be in town on Saturday to give you all your off? invite to the wedding oh as we all Did know it is Did they get Columbus is... Day off? I don't know I don't care what bank holidays they get off but Easter is something that's almost everywhere so that's why uh, anyways Morgan who is Brandon the Brandon we know not the Brandon Stevens who wants to marry everybody but the Brandon Hewlett who's normally in the chat is yeah. Morgan by the way and that person is going to be in uh, town on Saturday um, to give you the invite to the wedding. So there you go. Saturday. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow. So if he says, will you go three for three in your opinion of wrestling shows this week of how dumb they are? No, we're going to see Jake Cargill. As long as they don't screw that up somehow. Yeah, if they fuck that up, I am mad. I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to write him a goddamn letter. If Esther shows up, I'm going to just leave. Like, if they have her show up with yeah, her, anything, like, anything, against anything. her or something. Anything. Like, they're matter. like, well, here you go. Here's your first opponent. How about no? <laughs> oh, let's see. Robert says, yeah. Yeah. What are we yeah? You got plans? Can you yeah. do stuff? Had a good week? Or in a great weekend? Brandon says, uh, Brandon Steven is back, y'all. From the last time you were here, which was two 
days ago. Sophie's Like AJ Styles hinted that he will get new theme music because his current theme doesn't fit him anymore. Because he's too cool. For school. Way too cool. For all of the cool. Brandon says Jake Cargill is here. Yeah, she's doing her debut today, tonight on uh, Smack at the Downest. Since she signed. She's going to wrestle WrestleMania. Battle Royal. <laughs> Maybe she'll win. Walter says, Sunday I'm going to church for Easter and have ham dinner and get candy. Yeah. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Ham dinner and candy. Ooh, That's the best deadly. part, Walter. And going to church to atone for your sins. Congratulations. That's always a plus. Sophie says, I'm not doing that much for Easter this weekend. The New York Mets lost their opening day game today by two runs. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, aw, sad. I was watching some of that game. Walter says, Kevin Owens and Orton for the win. You don't want them to win again. You don't want them to lose against Pretty Deadly. This is just a pity party at this point for whatever this is for. What is this for? Is this like nothing. for the tournament or is this just them being angry at each other? Just nothing. So it means nothing. It just means that, well, they needed to do it, something. It means they got to do something and maybe, maybe not Logan's there oh, to geez. set up for Mania because it's going to be a triple threat. Oh, yeah. So you're going to see a little triple. bit of division between um, Randy and Kevin. Mm. So if he says, some opening day baseball games got delayed today because of bad weather. Not the bad weather. Happens. Walter says, my Braves won today on away game. Yes. So if he says, rip to Lewis Gossett Jr. I've heard that name. I don't know who it is right off the end. Me neither. Ravi is now in the chat because, you know. But I have heard that he's name. Here. I, I do know who that is. I just don't know who that is. I'm pretty sure he was one of the... He's an actor. Yeah, like one of the druggy actors in the 80s that hung out mm. with, what's his name? Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Oh my god, all the juniors hang out together? Okay, I this match so. started, guys. Kevin Owens and Randy Orton are out there against Pretty Deadly. I'm guessing that Pretty Deadly is going to lose unless somebody comes down and interferes to make Kevin Owens mad. What was his name? Lewis what? Lewis Gossett Jr. or Louis Gossett Jr., however you want to say it. Louis or Lewis. Okay, no. I was way wrong. Mm -hmm. I do know who he is, though. For sure. He was, uh, do you remember Iron Eagle? It was the airplane movie. Your brother probably would have watched yes. it. Yes. Yes, I remember that show. He yes, was, he did watch it multiple times. That was, was one of those weird one-offs. Yeah, he was the fighter jet pilot. Really? Oh, I kind of remember his face. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know who he is. But not maybe from that specifically, but I've seen him in other stuff probably. Right. But Ravi is in the chat saying, yo, this is this the night, WWE, we get a big build. Yeah, it's called Legos. Um, did you have to work today, Ravi, or did you get Good Friday off from your mental health job? Sophie says, there will be no Rock, Roman, Cody, Seth tonight. Oh, bummer. Everybody's going to leave. Walter says, Rip Lewis Gossett Jr. an actor. Monday is April Fool's Day. Yeah, um, that means we're not going to be here. April Fools, we'll be here for Slow. So he's like, he was in Roots. And I forgot what other movies he was in. CM Punk will be on Raw this Monday. Roots. You know, I watched Roots the other day. Isn't that funny? Like, most people that know what Roots is, they watched it when they were kids. Right. I literally watched it, what was that, like two years ago? Yeah, something like that. Maybe a little longer, but yeah. Walter says, Iron Eagle and the new color purple movie. Quentin says next week, next week, next week, next week, it's WWE Speed. What the fuck, Speed? Like drugs? That's weird. No, it's going to be a show that they've been advertising. I can't remember what platform it's on, but I, it's either YouTube or X or um, Facebook, something like that. Instagram. And it's going to be like a quick, like five minute match or something like that. With they, who? Like who are the people? Does anybody? Yeah, like. Just week. random people off the street? No, it'll be random. The people are punching people in New York City? Like, I mean, that seems real. They should That's probably put that down. on there. They're doing that again. Uh huh. Yeah, they've been doing that lately. Um, it's women. Women are getting punched. By men? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. 
Yeah, they're punching women that are looking down at their phone, not paying attention, and they're just punching them. One of them was a um, like, like an internet star, like an influencer right. that got happened, and she turned him into the cops, and he got he got arrested, well, picked up and arrested. I don't know if he's the one that's been doing it to everybody. The thing is, is they'll just one them one girl they can't arrest people anyway. Right, one girl she uh, was diagnosed with a concussion from it. Yeah. And everything. You so. get punched by a dude, you're getting a concussion. That's so, well, you would think, but you know, he's my mom's age. The guy that died. He's born in '52. Wow. Um. Let's see. Walter said, "Iron Eagle" and the new color purple movie. Oh, who's in those two? Cool. Um. Quentin says next week is. Oh, read that. Uh. And Sophie says, "I think I watched Roots once. WWE Speed is a Twitter exclusive, and they're actually going to have a championship." Walter says, Sophie, just look up Louis movies. He made a lot. Sophie says, WWE Speed only have three-minute matches, and they are going to have a tournament. Yesterday, they released Bad Boys 4 trailer. You know, oh, that's God. something they should really stop making as Bad Boys. I feel I like that's yet. just lame. Is three, like, as long as two? Because two was so good. I really like two, but it's so long that I ha it has to be for, like, a special occasion. What is it? What's a special occasion? What is what, what do we watch this weekend? We have oh god no. It's that <laughs> time of the year again. No. No. <laughs> Not the Ten Commandments. <laughs> no, Travis. No. No. We have to watch it early in the morning on Sunday. Oh my god, can't we just watch some over. of it like That's tomorrow? We we'll have to watch half of it tomorrow till okay. the intermission. They have an intermission. I know the they do. That's terrible. That they have to have an intermission. It's, it's like, like a four hour. Fight. It's fucking 15 hours long. Oh my God. I don't know if I can do it. You don't have to. You can just play on your phone. I might. I'll watch it. Uh, Walter says AW Rampage later at 10 p.m. Walter says W Speed, where I, can I watch it? Sounds like it's on Twitter or X, Walter. Yeah, it's on so X. If you have a Twitter account, you should be able to watch it possibly. I'm guessing you probably have to have a Twitter account, and you might actually have to be a follower. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, Sophie says, I only saw Bad Boys 1 and 2. 3, I haven't seen. I heard how bad it was, though. Oh, that's nice. Uh-oh. Yeah, Walter see, that's says, what I was worried about, so no, So no movie night this week, maybe next week. Yeah, because you got Easter and stuff, so you got to, like, uh -oh, take Kevin a chill Owens, on the movie. Big chop. Pretty Deadly's in trouble. The blonde one. I don't know any of their names. Chris? Prince. Chris? Prince. Chris? I heard Chris. I'm going with Chris. His name's Chris. He looks like a Chris. Looks like he looks like a Chris. He looks like he's a wannabe um, Legolas. Right. <laughs> From Lord of the Rings, actually. I think everybody in England wants to look like that, right? Maybe Seth Rogen. I don't know. He has like a bump there. Like a bit bump so cool has a head on it it's weird uh let's see so if he says you have you have to watch all 10 fast and the furious movies to understand what is going on with that franchise How probably not know? because one and two are old-fashioned movies that are kind of dumb and then i never watched tokyo and then after that one i think they started kind of changing it into like a more Oh, no. Action-packed movie. So I don't think you'd have to watch, other than just know who the characters are and why they exist. Oh, God! He slapped him? Big right hand right there. Lay anybody out. He just slapped His brother's going to hit Tyson with that same punch, knock him out cold. That's it. It's over. See, he helped pretty deadly win. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got that right hand, but that's laced with metal. Are you sure? Punched him. I feel like he slapped him. It's a him. punch. That's it his like finishing it, move it, is his right hand. He it, is a boxer. It looked like a slap because he like took his arm all the way out like this and just. just it's called a haymaker. Splat like this. Here, let me show you. Like that. It's a haymaker. But it was worse. Oh, God. I'm <laughs> Kevin. I can't get my fat ass up out of the ring. <laughs> Randy's like, how dare you lose it for me? I'm so upset right now. You better hit him with a KO.
Boom! Oh, he did have this thing. It's just weird because it's like not really. It's like, see? He hit him in the throat. <laughs> it's like, hey, yeah, I got you. I it's the you other out. arm that makes it funny looking. Look, now he knows what happened. Now Randy knows what happened. He knows he's under the ring. He's like, is he still there? Look at him. He's like, is he still there? I'm going to punch Boo the ring to get him. He's like, go get him. Like, he'd still be there. Where would he go? He's under the ring. Look, everybody's pointing. He's like, oh, is he under the ring? Is he there? He's trying to be quiet. Everybody should make a whole bunch of noise so he doesn't know he's coming. Like, this is amazing! Hopefully Somebody play some music! Hopefully he has an escape tunnel under there. Like... He can't RKO. He's underneath the thing. You gotta RKO him under... Oh, God, he's right there. Why would you stay there? He's, like, right at the... <laughs> oh, dumb. Oh, God! This is, like, a terrible movie. Randy just attacking Logan for no reason, by the way. Yeah. Logan Unprovoked. didn't do anything to him. Unprovoked. Randy... <laughs> So he says Attacking one of the, the future NXT pay-per-views will be moving to Las Vegas and also it will move to a different venue. Cool. Cool. So he says, I think I saw Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift and I don't know, it was part of that franchise. I thought it was separate from it. No, it, it's part It's it. part three. Oh no, a pretty deadly got him in the knee ball. I'm pretty sure I've seen four and five. I know one of them, they drive through a mountain. Ooh, a mountain. From Mexico to America or vice versa. Wow. There's a hole in the mountain. Just one hole? Yeah. That's cool. And they all like driving in a straight line. They're like, we're going out the poop shoot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So why is Pretty Deadly back? Um, because they attacked Randy because he, the, he was attacking Logan. So they were saving Logan and then they're paying the price for oh, their Oh, do you stupid... think they want to be on his YouTube show? Maybe. I don't know. So it says Hulk Hogan might make an appearance at Mania next weekend. Well, you would hope so. The he next... is WrestleMania, and it is a big one. The next Pirates of the Caribbean movie will be a reboot. Are they going to have Johnny Depp? Is it a Caribbean or a Caribbean? I don't know. I'm sorry. Which way would you like me to say it? I'd say Caribbean. Did I say it that way? Yeah. Is it Caribbean? Well, it's like a Caribbean cruise, right? I don't know. It's the same thing. It's just is it though? Say it. They're not two different places. It's like the caramel Car and caramel. Like people tell you that it's wrong. You should say it caramel because it's well, spelled they are, different C A R A M E L. Right. It's caramel, not caramel. Oh God! Oh my God! He threw a chair. Why do you think Randy hates YouTube? Oh my God! He was so serious. You think Randy just he hates wanted YouTube? to make it so official. He's just going to oh steal God. somebody's Whose Corvette. Whose car is that? Somebody's old 70s Corvette. Oh, my God. They're going to wreck it. You better not wreck it. Oh, my God. I was going to throw up for a second. If they wrecked out, I'd be so mad. They do it all the time. I know. It's terrible. Horrible. People. Get him with the RKO, Randy. Yeah, why didn't you RKO the whole car? I mean, he attacked Logan for no problem. Why didn't Or no reason. Why didn't he attack freaking KO for no reason? Oh no, Bailey crashed EO's performance center um uh uh what do, what do you call those interviews? Oh yeah, no, she, how terrible. That's oh, so I bet bad. you that was fucking great to watch. Somebody that can't talk, let alone speak English. <laughs> trying to pull an interview, that's gonna be fucking <laughs> Sorry, Does she up? got an interpreter that gambles for her. <laughs> that's up next. <laughs> uh Sophie also says it sounds like Raw will be commercial free with the way that commercial for it makes it sound cool next week or, or you mean all the like, whole of raw so they'll just promote themselves for their commercials like That's great just their own watch this shit it's like netflix released its new reboot of good times which releases in a couple of weeks that yeah. sounds stupid and i'm not gonna watch it i don't know what it is good time is that like dino my was that good time what was good time? What am I thinking? I know my. I don't know what that's called. I'm pretty sure it was good times in the 70s. But... Maybe. It could have been. Damn it. Why are they remaking shit? Because they're dumb and they can't figure out anything for themselves. They're like, God, we don't know how to do anything normal. 
they need to just start using AI and get rid of these actors. Because AI is advanced enough that they could make it really realistic looking. Um, do you remember the show um, Beowulf? Oh my god, yeah. Like that? It, it, it could easily outdo that. As long as they don't make it like that Viking run, I'm fine. That thing was horrible. And that part of that was AI crap, too. It no, was I just terrible. mean the whole fucking thing. It was awful. It was the most awful thing have I've to, ever uh, seen in my entire life. hire one damn screenwriter. You could just have AI write the shit. Then, not only that, you could have AI make the shit. And then you don't have to pay anybody. And the record companies or whatever those logo, whatever they are, movie companies would make a silly. Right. Because there'd be no overhead. Huh. You'd have like 12 dudes. Uh Ravi, did you fall back asleep? Where's Kehola? Are you off playing games with people? I'm sad. Nobody's here. Rally's here, though. Hey, Rally, good to see you. It says, hi, do you Travis chat? Hello. Hello. Were you off today? Did you have to work today for Good Friday, or did you have it off? Do you have Monday off? Does anybody in the UK that's in our chat right now have Monday off? Where did everybody go? Why did everybody leave? I don't like it. It's rude. It makes me sad. Look at that. This guy is shooting. This guy's like stuck in his bullet. Because there's a guy back here shooting. Oh, fuck. So he's like shooting at that cop, that cop shooting at that cop because there's two of them. Well, how the fuck did that one guy get behind him? Well, I'm assuming there's. This a... guy runs around. Either that or, or there's another guy. guy. What, what was he wearing? Gray shorts. White. Yeah, so it's neither Jesus of these. Shit. So it's another guy that ambushes them. Yeah. That's nuts, dude. And they wonder why I'm okay with them being murdered. People that do that shit. Kill them. Well, of course kill them. If they're shooting at you, you're... Those cops kill them. have every right. Not only that, but they should shoot to kill, not shoot to injure. They should just kill You know them. how you were telling me That's about in Canada, they were... Telling you to leave your chief officer at the door and all that. <laughs> yeah. So I watched the a guy thing. that told him that. I watched <laughs> I watched a, a thing that somebody had put together with how much Florida and um Canada are different. Oh god. Because the guy's like, Okay, we, we need you to leave your chief officer and then the sheriff and Florida? Florida's like, Do not leave your chief officer. At the door. I know. <laughs> He's like He's like, Do not do this. He's like, if you have a gun you use it. Yep. And then the the one sheriff, big black dude, he's like, he's like, I have the power to deputize every single citizen of my county. Yep, they he's do. Like, and if you are going to be a thug, whatever, and pull do. a gun out, they have <laughs> my permission to, shoot to you. kill you. Yep. And I will deputize them. <laughs> Yep. It's like, oh my god. Exactly. There's some there. Are, there's lots of them that way. There's some in Texas that are that way. There's like this one sheriff. I can't remember where he's at. He's it's like Florida. in the south somewhere. Not Florida. He's a white guy. Yeah. That's, is it him? It's Florida. Is it him? The one that says. There's one in Arizona that does it too. The one that, that talks literally like that. talks like he's like. I don't care. Do you see you this dumbass? If you guys are out rioting tonight, that's fine. He's like, but if you come into somebody's house, they have my permission to exit you out of the house with their gun. Yeah. Like with shooting. Like blow you out of their house. One, of, one time, what was it? One of them, he was like, um, the citizen is not in trouble. They did the right <laughs> yeah. thing by killing this person <laughs> that was like doing something in their He's home like, or think, some shit. I think they think, think they're, they're in, in trouble, trouble. But they're, but they're not. not. <laughs> we would rather you kill them <laughs> than right. us have to do all the paperwork. <laughs> Like, for them to be alive. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh oh, it's, here she it's is. Funny. Look. That dot. Okay. Community to launch. Home to us. Okay. To the spotlight again. The only reason Bailey wanted to get with us is so she could take victimship, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Nobody feels sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her at all. What I feel is that you shouldn't be a champion, and she annoys me. So there you go. That's how I feel about the situation. Not that you care. 
Sophie's like, I've been playing WWE 20K24. My roommate is off today and Monday. Cool. Rally says, looking forward to Jade Cargill debut on SmackDown. Hope she has a match. Wait and see. Sounds Yay. like she might just do a promo, but we'll see. Sophie says, in New York, when I went to school, we didn't have off the day after Easter. Sophie says, with no Rock, Roman, Cody, and Seth tonight, yep. we could actually see people have longer matches that we have seen the last month. It's not considered a federal holiday in the United States of America. Sophie says, where is everyone in the chat? They disappeared like magic. Today it marks happens. nine years since Seth cashed in at Mania. Yeah, it's really rude. Everybody comes in and then fucking leaves. And I hate it. And now it makes me want to leave. I feel like we should just not do our show anymore. Like, we have absolutely no support from our fans. None <laughs> whatsoever. The only fan we have is Sophie. I mean, Rally's kind of in here. Fucking Robbie probably drowned himself in his bathtub. Walter's gone. And it's not even 7 o'clock yet. Jerks. Keekle is out having way more fun playing cards and drinking. Well, yeah, that sounds like He better fun. make sure he eats a sandwich. Oh, look, Robbie's back. Somehow he came and disappeared. Now he's back again. Yeah, you can't make up for when you left, buddy. Can't make up for it now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, this is dumb. Why is Cat the camera... Boy! Why is the camera so dumb? It's because he, 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 they showed it when they panned out. It's just a guy with a camera. Why is he moving like he's got palsy? Well, I get it, but there's there's different kinds. Not palsy. It's called something palsy. No, it's just palsy. That's it's not palsy. <laughs> <laughs> like cerebral palsy. No, no. There's like no. That's that's terrible. That's what you're born with. I'm saying it's something he you know acquired. <laughs> palsy. Well, that's what they used to just call it. I Shaking. It was just called about. palsy. Why are you making fun of me for it? Because it sounds funny. Because it's say. an old person term. Is that why you're making fun of it? Palsy. It's like from the, the old, old days. Quick. Why do you have to ask dumb questions, dude? Nobody cares. Well, I've been like, dreading WrestleMania for a while, and it's next weekend, so I'm kind of like, okay, next week. I'm not happy about that. Busy as fuck. I know, and it's going to be dumb, and I hate all of you, because none of you will support us. You guys are going to be here. We're going to be in here by ourselves, like, blah, 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 for like 12 hours. And then the next day, we have to do it again for 12 more hours. And not only that, thing? but then we have to do SmackDown the night before and fucking Raw. At, ugh. Yeah, it's going to be a, a good weekend. <laughs> and we have people over, so they're, like, going to leave. So we're going to be having fun, and then we have to, like, get on the air. Ew. And not have fun? <laughs> no, I'm just saying it'll be a switch. <laughs> make, 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 make Tony stay and watch it. <laughs> Bitch, you better stay and watch Here it. Here she comes. Miss America. Oh, she's going to officially uh, sign her contract. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Nice. Official. Let's make it official, bitch. Isn't that how you do it? You turn a light bulb. You have to move your elbow, but you make it the l not as much move because you want to conserve your energy. <laughs> so you don't go. Because that doesn't what? conserve. So Six, you have to do it three. slow. And smile like pretty. But she doesn't do that. She does this. Because she's got guns. Very interesting pop she has on her. God damn. God damn this woman. She makes me feel gay. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, let me see what I can wear tonight. Holy shit bags. <laughs> She could pull a jeep out of a ditch. Yeah, fucking think. Oh my god, this woman. <laughs> she gives me fever. <laughs> exactly. I've got the fever. Sophie says, let's see if SmackDown moves nights when it goes to the USA Network. Cool. I'm I hope saying, it does. See, I'm always here. Bullshit. You're not always here. You were gone for like 15, 20 minutes, dude. I don't know where you went. I thought you died in your bathtub again. What the hell's wrong with you? So it was like, is Jade fully ready to wrestle in the ring? This is her first real test. Uh, this is her signing a contract. So Corey Graves just said she has a body that would make Michael Angelo himself jealous. So is he calling her a dude? No. He, Michael Angelo wasn't in shape. 
It's the statue of David. Right? The statue that yes, he Yes, it is. It, Michelangelo <laughs> was the artist. Right? He's like, why would he be jealous? I'm sure he was just a fat dude. Would he be jealous because he can't sculpt, sculpt her? Perfection. I guess. I don't I don't know what to talk about. Who's she gonna call out? Ooh, Crystal Clear. She's that bitch. But on SmackDown she can't be. Yeah, you call it like it is, girl. They are not. Uh, Sophie says, is Jade really ready? Next week he will be live for like 13 hours combined. And Robbie's like, who's that? Rebecca Chatless in the chat here. Rebecca says, hey, WWE friends, happy Easter. Don't mind me asking, what are you doing for me? Going to eat at home Saturday and then Sunday night eating at the in-laws. That sounds like fun. Um, We are doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. I did ask my cousins if they were going to come over and play Dungeons and Dragons, and they said yes. On Sunday? I remember I asked them last week. Right. Because I was like, hey, like, next week is Easter. Are you guys coming? And they're like, yeah, I want to play. Okay. Hmm. So it's like two hours of SmackDown, a three or four Mania night one, and three or four for night two, and three hours of Raw. A lot. I would assume it's four hours both nights of Mania, maybe yep. even more. So he says, did you see Dana Brooke saying Tiffany Stratton is stealing moves or something? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Dana Brooke, She's just stop. a sore loser, and it sucks. Like, stop being a weirdo. Let her just be her. She, she replaced you, and it's okay. What is stealing anything? You work for the same motherfucking company. No, she's released. She works for... So, if that's the case, then she can't steal moves because they were already there before you left. Anybody can use those moves. Anybody they can aren't... use any move that they can do, period. Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't matter. It's not copying. So are you saying Orange Cassidy is copying Roman Reigns because he has a Superman punch? Yes. He totally is. How dare he? Roman Reigns should sue him! Uh, the thrust kick that we see. Oh, well, look at this. I definitely like the knees. They're doing another... Uh, all active docu series from nobody to somebody. Next gen. Huh, that's cool. Watch free April first on the Roku channel. Nobody wants that. Nobody this knows is more what shit. That is. I'm not gonna download a Roku channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Keith. Well, well, cool, Jay. Rob was like, D, I know you miss me. No. I just uh, would like it if there were more people in the chat talking. That'd be nice. Uh, Rob said, who is that? Jade Cargill? What are you yeah. talking about? I'm not watching SmackDown right now. It's Jade Cargill. Yeah, it was Jade. It was Jade. Jade came out and signed her contract. Made it official. She sort of threw a chair. That would have been cool. So it was like, funny, Jade said SmackDown has the best women's roster in the world. Tony Khan must have cried. Well, probably not. I mean, because he's Triple H, and they don't cry. Best. They're just in the back hanging out. It was like Eric Bischoff ended one of his podcasts this week. Ended one of them. Oh, just no. stopped it. Is that the one that was the one that was named after how many days he was in front of WWE? Like 261 or whatever the hell it was called. What do you mean in front of what? Who so is they took guy? over number one. WCW took over WWF oh, okay. in the 90s for right. like... Oh, okay. And then Vince was like, hey, we have to get this back. And so what Vince did was very clever. He brought in sex. And when I say sex, I mean sex. And mm -hmm. he sold it like a motherfucker. They had the women at their main events every single night. It was bra and panty this and that. Naked this and that. It made the show well worth watching. Back when stuff was cool. Now everybody's like, oh no, how dare you sexualize anything? Oh, oh my god, have you guys seen this fucking Disney shit thing that they had on Netflix or whatever? Oh no. Oh, Not the quiet uh, on set thing. Quiet on set. I watched that shit yesterday. I watched the whole thing. I watched all four episodes of it. Oh my god. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Let, let's get Talk it about straight. wannabe victims. Let's get it straight. Oh, so bad. The dude that was Drake in the Drake and Joshua show or whatever, that dude, I feel bad for him. Like, that was legit fucked up. Yeah. And not to mention the people like Alan Thick and the other ones that wrote the judge letters supporting the fucking fairy. Yeah, the guy who did it. The gay. Yeah, Brian, whatever his name. Dude, actor, whatever, whatever his pedophile. name was. Yeah. Then the dickhead that was in charge of whatever and he like masturbated on the little girl's computer or whatever. Fucking. Ugh, right? Like, let's get rid of that kind of crap. Anyway. But this Dan Schneider thing? I don't understand Just it. Dan Schneider. What the fuck was the whole show about? They're like, trying I was to, like, waiting. I him... waited until the last fucking minute of that for there to be a problem. <laughs> like, one issue with him? I, I was like, okay, he had to have molested Britney Spears. He had to have done it. Something had to have happened. Nothing fucking happened. I yeah, was he like, was a dick, but come on. But if you can be a dick, there's nothing wrong with being a dick. And he <laughs> lost his job because of it. I get it, whatever. But he didn't do anything. And I'm sitting there going, are you fucking kidding me? And they tried to make it out like, oh, he didn't like women. Okay. Don't forget it was a woman that went and got him fired. Why would he want to fuck? <laughs> like, they're like, well, he doesn't want to work with women. A woman got him fired. Why the fuck would you want to work with somebody that's going to get you fired? He's like, women can't be funny. I used to say the same shit in the 90s. I didn't know any <laughs> women comedians or anything right. back then. And that's when they those two girls were hired. And they're, at least they got an opportunity, right? And then they made it out like, oh, no, I'm a victim. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, that and the fact that I'm just like sitting there and I'm like, okay, yeah, he's an asshole. Yes. Where are the parents? Why aren't the parents, the parents supposedly were there the whole time. Well, Why didn't they step in and say to their kids, I don't want you dealing with this shit. We're leaving. I don't care if you never go on TV ever again. Done. Yeah. Well, we're back, by the way. And there's Alba Fire and the other one. Table that. She's like trying to hurt it. Come on. And she's like, no. Oh, here's this guy. AJ Styles. Yeah, make oh. sure he's not here tonight. I asked him. I asked. I asked. Why would it matter if he's there or not? I asked. Oh, because, you know, he got arrested in his house. He was so angry. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Rob is like, wow, D, how make someone feel wanted? I know. I just don't understand how that, like, they made a sh series on this shit. Like, I was expecting there to be something wrong. It's like Other crazy. than the two pedophiles, right? So but they weird. made it like he did something wrong, and, like, he had something to do with the pedophiles or something. That's how they advertised it. Yeah, like, he was the major bad. He was, like, the big bad. Like, he was the most bad of them all. Like, they the, made it out like he was the bad, bad, bad. The only kid that was molested that we know of is the kid that was Drake. Drake Bell. His name's Drake yeah. Bell. Yeah, oh, so his name's really Drake. So mm -hmm. Drake was the only one. And guess who was the only motherfucker that supported him at Nickelodeon? The Dan Snyder guy that was the bad guy for everybody else. And it's then like, not only that, but Drake never said anything bad about him. He couldn't. So weird. It's the fucking weirdest fucking shit ever. And they're like, this is so horrible. This is like the most horrible and, and like, then, behind the scenes of how awful these kids were treated on Nickelodeon. Right. And then they made it out like, oh, they were sexualizing these kids. No, it's these fucking perverts. The adult perverts. That are looking at it from because they're addicted to fucking porn. And then they watched something that happened t 12 years before porn came out on the fucking internet. <laughs> and then they're like, oh my god, it was a cum shot on a little kid's face. It's like, you're a fucking sicko. Yeah, like, for... <laughs> no one thought that when they watched it. I remember watching that stupid shit because I had a daughter. Didn't think of that one fucking time mm -hmm. watching that. Like, oh. And then they're like, oh. 
It's a cum shot. And it's like, <laughs> you're a fucking pervert. That means you know what one is. Yeah. And that means that you watch the shit. You fucking pervert. Yeah, and you That's looked a real at it. Pervert. And looked at it as sexualized. Right. That's the gross part. Right. Like, oh, they're sexualizing that what kid. And it's like. It's what it, you've never had something blow up in your face before. I dropped a car battery once and it came up on my face. Was that a fucking? It was totally a cum shoe? shot. That freaking battery did a cum shot on you, right? <laughs> like, I'm so fucking. Ah. You're so gay. <laughs> I the love battery that. squirted all over me. Oh, I love how in touch with your feelings you are. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Granted, it wasn't funny. It was terrifying. Well, of course, battery, it's battery acid. acid. And so I thought for sure I was going to lose my eyes, my face, and my nose. <laughs> Nothing happened, by the way. <laughs> Nothing. Like, I went in the house, washed it off, and waited for the worst. Right. And the worst never Your came. face to melt off. <laughs> yeah, I was, seriously, I thought I was going <laughs> to look, look like this biker that I saw one time, and he had gotten a wreck, and it tore his bottom jaw. Oh, God. And he was road rash, right? And so he looked normal from here. Yeah. And so, and then the camera, as it loads, it goes like this. And then when it gets here, this is gone. And he's got a tongue, and it's just hanging there. And then he's ripped up here, but he's alive. Like, his eyes are moving. Okay. And it's like, oh, God. <laughs> That's what I thought I was going to look like. <laughs> After my fucking car battery. I had it on a, think of this. I had it on a bumper. It just fell off, remember? Like, I, I set a car battery on our bumper one time, and we went to the store. And I forgot about it. <laughs> so it, like, rolled down the road. <coughs> Any, anyways, we do have another match happening, by the way, guys. Ooh, do we? Yes, it was a tag match between the Street Profits and... Um, I can't remember the other team now. I had it. It's gone. Is anyways, it the AOP again? Uh, no, uh, it's different because they moved on. It's whoever their next components were. To, or oh, we're come. in that tournament thing. Yeah, the tournament stuff. <clears throat> Anyways, Piccolo's in the chat. Hey, Piccolo, good to see you. It says, give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sophie says, Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis are going to start filming Freaky Friday too soon, and there is no word of it's going to Disney Plus or straight to the theater. Hey, that's kind of cool. Are they going to use, like, a Lohan daughter for it? So it's like a granddaughter, mom, and grandma? Right. That'd be pretty cool. So if it says he ended another one, which I don't know, he had until this week. I forgot the name of it. Oh, another podcast from Eric Bischoff. And Pico says, what's up, Gab Gang? And Ravi says, Woo -woo. mans don't care for Disney. It was Nickelodeon, but he did start working for Disney, and then he, they got a lot of backlash for it. The the pedophile. The mm -hmm. actual sick fucker. Yeah. He got he, 16 months in jail for fucking what's a little even, boy. What's even funnier is that he got a job again, but that Dan Schneider can't. Because he treats people badly. He was because he's a women. dick, and they're like, "You're a dick." So no, you can never get a job in Hollywood ever again. But this guy who fucks little kids, it's fine. Proven to fuck it's little fine. kids. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. Like he was convicted of fucking a little boy with like a <laughs> flashlight. Yeah, it's gross. Nobody. I don't want to hear it. Are, no. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and then he got sixteen months, <clears throat> and then he got went to work for Disney. Yeah, I, I think so. Too. Anyways, uh, Pete Pugel says, um, uh, I watched a portion of it, that stuff. And uh, so he says they are going to have a fifth episode of Quiet on the Set coming out in a couple weeks. Yeah, in April. I've seen that. So he says, Brian Not Peck, and it. he went on to be behind us Disney Channel show, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Pugel says, where do the parents go? And <laughs> why don't the cast have meetings? They did, but the parents weren't in the meetings, I guess. Sophie says about what he did to the female writers by having them getting paid by one check. Yeah, splitting it. Who cares? It was the Don't 90s. care. Don't care. Don't care. Do not care. One bit. They got an opportunity. Yeah. They didn't They didn't have to stay. They could have t done that and tried somewhere else. Sophie says, I only saw the first episode of it. Pico says, yeah, exactly. What little Timmy got touched in the no-no. <laughs> Major no-no squares. Oh, yeah, that was all sorts of fucked up if you watch that one. It's like, oh, my God. It's Austin and um, Siri oh, and yeah. Grayson Waller. That's who. Uh, let's see. Uh, so he says, I feel bad for Drake's dad. He told the mom not to leave the kid alone with Brian person. Yep. Yeah. Pico says, exit stage left. 
<laughs> and then he's like, well, the parents. all of a sudden they're like, yeah, you know, you can't do that. And the mom's like, well, I don't want to drive you to your interview, whatever those things are called, where you try out or whatever. Yeah, his tryouts, basically. And they're like, oh, she's like, I don't want to drive you. It's like, what the fuck is your only job? Right. Right. Like, you're my manager. Dad was doing it. I left him so you could get paid. Yep. And you're not going to do it? Because y'all cried about it. Go, get him. Oh, he almost And then, the, then homeboy's like, hey, you know, you live an hour away, so I'm just going to have you spend the night at my house, and then I'll just take you home in the morning. Yeah. And, like, the mom was cool with that. And then it didn't happen immediately, right? So it was like, oh, get comfortable, get comfortable, get comfortable. Rape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then it was like rape all the time because he couldn't not be around him. Oh, oh Jesus. So if it says Keenan Thompson said they should investigate more. Uh, P. Cole says, and yeah, hearing from my lawyers, right? Robbie says, AJ Styles, is that really him? That was him. Sophie says, people are behind the Brian Peck over the Nickelodeon talent. Some of them, some people are. Until, some of them, until they actually, like, it was proven, like, the proof in the pudding came out. And then people backtracked. Some of them. Not all of them. Hold on Only some of them. He was fucking convicted he when was. they wrote those letters. Yep. There's no way they didn't know. What you're saying is they backtracked once people knew that they had written those letters. Yeah, that's probably. when they that's when they backtracked. Backtracked is when people knew they wrote the fucking letters. Because yeah, there's six carrying crosses doing a thing for them. Allegedly, is that a wine bottle? Oh, they ruined their stuff. Oh, oh, Bobby. they killed Bobby. They ruined Bobby. Yeah, nobody. Ca- oh, what are you doing, dude? Talking, don't leave. Go finish the shit. You guys are going to lose now. This is dumb. 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 Well, they got to get other people into it. This is just a participation trophy, WrestleMania, at this point. Wow. And Late. The Dawkins and Ford are going to wrestle the AOP or something at WrestleMania on the pre-show, maybe. Or but not for a chance at the tag title. Well, of course not. Why would they? They need to just break that fucking team up. If they're not going to use them correctly. There it is. <clears throat> I was just calling that. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, he calls like sheesh. So he's like, poor Amanda Bynes. Now it makes sense why her career went downhill fast. Why? Why did it go downhill fast? What happened? What, to what her? happened to Amanda? They didn't have anything of hers. Nothing to... about her. Just that she went down the same road as any other child star, right. and that has nothing to do with that she Dan get, Schneider. She didn't get molested. Right? They didn't say anything about it. I mean, she may have, but nobody said that it wasn't in that Nickelodeon thing. Right. They didn't have any proof, or they would have put it in there, right? Because that's what they were after. Those women all got together and like, whose careers can we destroy? Yep, basically. And they decided to go after Nickelodeon and uh, the Snyder character. They didn't even really spend a lot of time on the molester. That first one, I can't even remember his fucking name. He like masturbated to some little girl. On Justin the- Handy or Jason Handy. His last name was Andy. It's pretty handy. <laughs> yeah. And then it was him and Brian Peck. And then it was some other guy. It was like some oh, extra yeah. or something. The other guy did. He, he had a different he name. He brought though. a boy with him yes. that he had molested. Yes. That's what they had said. That yeah. was really cool. They didn't even talk about that one. They are just saying, hey, look, they had three pedophiles. Did they bring him out there to beat him up too? No, he came down to help his boys. Oh, I was like, what happened? Why Ooh, is he look there? at the smoke show. <clears throat> Nobody show cares about. Wrestling when you have the smoke show out there. Uh, excuse me. Well, Waller and uh, what's his name? One theory. Yeah. And dumb. All right. Rolled well, them up one, two, three. Dumb stuff. Um, he calls like, "Wow, I'm glad it was." Battery and not xeno, battery and not a xenomorph jazz. Oh my god! <laughs> so exactly. Says, you think that documentary bad? Wonder what the Vince documentary is going to be like whenever that premieres. 
on if Netflix. If it's stupid, if they make up stuff to make it bad, like they did with this Don Snyder thing, like where they had to like go, did you know he one time told a girl that she was fat? Oh my god. If they say shit like that, then yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to blow up. He called some little girl at home and said, it wasn't even him, it was the studio, called and said, hey, we already have a fat girl. Like On your the show, your, your daughter needs getting to kinda uh, chunky. Then, something. all of a sudden, she, she went through puberty. She like a woman. pubertized over the, and looked like a damn woman, woman within like six months. And then that was another problem because they're like, dude, the fucking kid show. I'm sorry, ma'am. You can't have hoo ha's out to here with your zonkin. And out it wasn't there. like she didn't have boobs because she's the one that was on that first episode, that blonde with the giant boobs. I don't know if she was trying to cover them up or what she was doing, but you couldn't miss them. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know why I couldn't be on a kid's movie. I don't know why I couldn't be on the kid's show. And then they just. And then she's like, and, and they then get all upset. That, that's who they replaced with Amanda Bynes. That was like her into Amanda Bynes. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and I didn't watch Nickelodeon at that time because didn't have a college. Kid. <clears throat> right? Why would you watch it? Gross. <laughs> right? like, I'm an if adult. I was, I'm if not I was watch watching shit, Nickelodeon during that time, I should have been locked up. But exactly. I was not, and I knew nothing about Nickelodeon at that time. I didn't even know who Josh Drake was until McKenna was older and they were hitting their stride. Yeah. When the one guy got skinny. Yeah. That's when I kind of started watching it. And she showed me old, old episodes because they'd be on. Yeah. And he would be fat. And I'm like, damn. You got lost a lot of weight. That's yep. cool. Rebecca Chatless says, do you, you eat Easter candy if guest favorite? Yes, I do eat Easter candy. Easter is probably one of my more favorite holidays. Um, and what I eat is uh, sometimes jelly beans, just regular jelly beans. Um, I'm not a fa fan of the crazy flavors jelly beans, just regular plain old jelly beans. Uh, black jelly beans are one of my favorites because I'm gross. I'm an old person. I don't like an old person. I like I like licorice flavor. Um, and then I like the Hershey's candy coated chocolates because they're better than the Cadbury chocolate covered eggs, candy coated eggs. But I like those too. I'll eat both. Um, sometimes I'll eat the peanut butter eggs. Not always. Sometimes. Um, and then, uh, I really like the extra creamy Easter Hershey eggs. Those are pretty good, too. That's it. Boom. Those Hopefully are pretty that much my your question. Easter candies. Those are my favorites. I have multiple. <clears throat> Robbie says, oh, DLO never remembers wrestling is going on. Why would I? Sophie says, there is no plot details of Freaky Friday 2 yet. Walter wanted their Street Profits to win, but they didn't. Sophie says he was also a racist, too. Sure. I don't believe that. Robbie says, D, do you know how true it is? Um, well, most of what they talked about didn't seem very truthful. It feels like they fabricated a lot of stuff on like alleged things, alleged, they alleged. Were, they were trying to be victims. With somebody. But the Brian Peck stuff, totally true. That shit was Yeah, I'm was not talking proven. about the pedophiles. That's fuck different. Them. I'm, I'm talking about just the Snyder guy. I watched it and I was like, why is he in this series? Yeah. That's the part I didn't understand is why they made the series and it almost like it was about him. But when... then they like threw this other stuff in like this is this is what happened. But we're going to make it about him. And it's like. Why wouldn't you make it about the pedophile? Did, did he did he do that? Did he do that too? Did, I, like he's like, oh, I want you to come out and give me a massage. Did they massage his penis? Why would they or was it just a back dick? massage? Was it a shoulder massage? I mean. My thing is like, why? Well, like, if you're going to be getting a massage, why wouldn't you just hire a professional? That's what I told. That's what I said. I was like, they, what those girls should have done is like, they should have gone to the executives and said, "Look, I can't do my job because he's expecting these massages all the time. Can we just get a masseuse on the set and just have him paid to be there?" Fuck. Done. Finished. Complete. Adios. No more worries. Mm -hmm. You don't have to ever do it again. You could be like, "There's a masseuse here for that," and then send her out there or him or whoever. I mean, how? Would you feel, and, and I get it that she was hiding her face because she's probably ashamed of herself, which I would be. That costumer, I'd be ashamed uh, of myself too. To get 
a man not only fired but blackballed from his career because he had to give him a massage. It wasn't even her. It wasn't even that fucking bitch. It was one of the other girls. Oh, it was one of her, her costume designers. It wasn't even her. She was a costumer, but it was one of the other girls under that did like the costume design and like all that stuff. So it wasn't even fucking that old ass bitch. It was other women. Yeah, I just to that's me, it why was she so, hit her face. It was so weird that you'd want to destroy somebody's career because somebody you knew gave it wasn't that. I get it if he was fucking her, right? Like, I get it if or, it was inappropriate. Exactly. Or, hey, I want you to give me a massage in the back with a closed door. Right. But it I, wasn't. He was I out on the set working. that there's fucking 50 people around and she's rubbing his neck. If yeah. you don't want to, don't do it. And they're like, oh, but you were so scared of him. It's like, don't be dumb. Like, don't be dumb. He's not going to fire you over not rubbing his and neck. And even if he does, Good what, luck. what? Like what? 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 You can't get another job somewhere else. All of a sudden, you're so retarded, you can't get a job somewhere else. Your whole life is wrapped up in this stupid shit. Fuck off. Exactly. Well, fuck. Like, just stand up for yourself. Don't do it. Yeah. Or shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like Jesus, it just irritates the hell out of me with that. I'm a victim. Crap. When you're not a victim of anything. There again, like I said, if if he would have had her, if he would have touched her, t- anything, slapped her ass anything but there was nothing there was nothing 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 will you give me a back massage that is not like oh my god destroy his career like you could have said no find somebody else i'm doing stuff like get over it anyways we have uh um humberto Carrillo, the los gatos people out here del fantasma yeah with santos escobar and, some and smoke show. that lady electra i don't remember Lopez. oh electra that's her name I'm like, what's her name? That's her name. Anyways. She used to be a lot bigger. We have that lady out here. Oh, he got outsmarted in the smartness. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, what happened earlier? One Walter, phone call. Walter says, Dominic we need Mysterio. rain here. I don't like pollen boo. Oh, he's got some allergies. I'm sorry, Walter. Bobby Lashley hurt by cross. Now fight, fight. And Ravi said AOP wants to deal with them. Uh, so if he says another six man tag team match, Ravi says Amanda, as she got older, she was laying. And so if he says, You see how Amanda Bynes look now? Sad. Oh, I saw it. So if he says, Now people want them to do that sort of documentary for Disney that I think would be more interesting. And Walter said, Okay, bye guys. See you Monday for all. Bye, Walter. Have a happy Easter and a great weekend. I'm sorry I didn't get to your message until now. Travis is very adamant about talking. What conversations are about? I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. Feels like, yeah, sounds pretty sus. As Sophie says, but now I don't know if the Finn Stock Mary will see the light of day anytime soon. I grew up a Nickelodeon and Disney kid. I liked watching shows on both networks. Robbie says, oh, go on, D, eating candy. What a shock. I know. It's so terrible. How dare I eat candy? Sophie says, wonder how long it took them to film that Nickelodeon documentary and how much they had to edit. Robbie says, D, you're no older than me. Hello, talking about old. Get out of here. Oh, no, I'm fucking older than you by a lot. He calls like, hmm, a whole ass bunny as an adult is just straight diabetes. <laughs> Who said anything about a bunny? <laughs> Nobody's eating chocolate bunnies. Robbie's like, D, no lint chocolate bunny? Not really. I mean, I could get them, but are they are they hollow for you, Robbie, or are they um, oh. Like, not hollow. <laughs> solid. That's the word I was looking for. Are they solid for you? Because most of the ones here, the lint ones, are all hollow. And it's kind of not worth the money when they're hollow. Pigola says, take care, Walter. So he says, are you doing the watch along for the Hall of Fame next Friday? No, sweetie. No. We're not going to do the Hall of Fame stuff. Nobody going in that I care about, really. They're doing it on Friday? Yeah, it'll be after SmackDown. Oh, my God. How dumb. For four hours? My God. Robbie's like, Walter always leaves before I get a chance to chat to him. I know, little poop. And Robbie says, is that what he called a massage about? Uh, no, Robbie. <laughs> he didn't call touching any of his no-no squares a massage. He literally, they showed a picture of a woman giving a massage on the set, and it was his shoulders. That was it. That's it? That's and all. she wanted to ruin his where's whole all, entire Where's life. all the bad stuff? I wanted to see all these pictures of him doing all these horrible, awful, terrible things, and it's like, there wasn't any. And nobody could talk that bad about him. 
Chris O'Connor is in the chat. Hey, Chris, good to see you tonight, hon. Says, hey, guys, hey, what you doing this weekend? Dungeons and Dragons. Not you. I'm talking to Chris. No, I, I'm asking him. I'm making conversation. Well, Rey Mysterio is coming out with Zelina. Yeah, she looks wait, like, what does she look like? thought she had yellow on, so I was like, does no. she look like a bumblebee? That's her flesh. No, that's definitely not bumblebee attire. She forgot half her outfit. She looks like she got hit by a boat. Oh my god, not the choppy. And Ella ripped her clothes off. Oh my god. But she put them back on. I thought she was just wearing straps. You know what she reminds me of? Is she kind of, not all of it, but just some of it. Is he just grabbing his dick to show dominance? Maybe. I think he did. Um, that, uh, she looks like the girl off of the fifth element. Oh, yeah. When she gets strapped up, when in they the pull white. the things out, when she's Nikki in the thing. Oh. And they, like, put the straps over her, and she leaves that way. She does, that's when they first, like, bring her back, or like, mm -hmm. when they make her. It's a real shame. So we're going to have an eight-man tag match at WrestleMania. I was done fighting you. This is no fun. Or are they going to add the women, too, and make it a five-on-five? Five? Sophie says it seemed like when you work on a Dan Schneider show, you don't go home. You are on set all day. That's called working. That's called working. And if the kids didn't like it, they could leave. They didn't have to be there. They could quit. Bobby says he must have been so sore with all that massages in another region. The fuck are you? Robbie, there's no nether regions. Don't be weird. You're, you're, see, you're, you're, you're those people. Is... You're the people that made the documentary. You're them. Congratulations. Uh, Pico says, yo, Chris. And Robbie's like, solid. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have solid ones here that I know of. They usually are, uh, are hollow, which is solid. stupid. I, solid when I, was a kid. I don't think they make them that way anymore, but I don't really buy them. So, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Sophie says, I love chocolate bunnies and Hershey kisses. Uh, Chris says, God damn, Zelina looking like Nikita Lyons gear. Robbie says, but Lint is overpriced for me. Well, over there it might be. I don't know how overpriced it is here. It's probably not as good. Sophie says, I forgot he was on head of the class. Pico says, yeah, uh, I'm going to need you here for an extra hour. Coffee. <laughs> I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. <laughs> They're just giving and everybody Sunday. WrestleMania shots. I hate WrestleMania. I so hate it now. It is nothing special. It is just literally garbage. Chris was like, fuck yeah, rip that motherfucking outfit off her. Oh my god, Chris. Okay. She, One from the lollipop gill? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're straps because I think she has little buckle things. That's terrifying. Wonder if somebody accidentally. She's going to get nailed. Her. I'm sure she will be? by her husband. Who is it going to be? Is it that little dragon leaf? Oh, God. Oh, Fuck you. no. Run away! They're putting fucking dragon Lee in the goddamn fucking WrestleMania. Come on! They're like, well, we have to pick all the ones <laughs> that have masks. I mean, they have to be luchadors. Why not? Put them all in the same group. <laughs> What the fuck? Triple H is like, oh, you're brown? I got an idea. <laughs> Go get in the ring real quick. <laughs> Everybody's like, this is so terrible. Remember when he did... <laughs> <laughs> you guys looked at the group of people in the ring right now? Anybody? 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 Oh, no. They're talking smack. Oh, fuck. Oh, she said, hold my baby. Did you see her? Uh -huh. She said, hold my baby. And then she smacked her. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck off. This is stupid. Grace is like, damn, Jade, is Zelina looking sexy tonight? Yes, sir. Pico's like, I figured if I really wanted to know the BS, then I'd read all the tabloid magazines. You know, those ones are true. That's where you get the truth. So if it says it seems like that Nickelodeon documentary was going to give you a lot of bad stuff about Nickelodeon. Nope. They yeah. fucked up. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't give a shit. I was waiting. Trust me, I was waiting. They... I was like, when is it going to happen? I, you could ask her. She was sitting behind me, and I was like, is it going to happen? 
Why can't you pause it and be like, I'm waiting. I'm what's waiting the, for something bad to happen. I'm waiting what, for the bad stuff. What's the bad going to happen? If, uh, other if than did, the two pedophiles, guys. When I say there's nothing bad, I'm talking about Dan Schneider. Yeah, because that was who they kept advertising was the devil of all devils. Like, okay. I mean, every chance they got, he's so evil. That's he's why the I worst watched ever. It. I literally was like, I don't watch that shit. Like, what did he do to those kids? Those bastards. I was like, that motherfucker needs to burn. And then we're like, oh, he was mean to them? And they cried? Oh, wah. So they were babies. Oh, my God. They didn't have thick skin? Oh, no. You mean they acted like normal actors? Oh, no. Against Dakota. (laughs) Ew, seriously? I hate this. I hate I hate all of this. This I hate. I hate it. I don't Mm -hmm. even want. They need to get nailed. I hate everything. I don't like anything about this right now. <laughs> Go away. They're just dragging Bianca down to fucking Naomi. Like level. they did the Becky shit. Like they're like, oh, by the way, you guys are so shitty and McShittertons that we really need you to start pumping these other people up with your McShitty to make you as McShitty as them. Congratulations on ruining all of your careers. You could have somebody to thank. She you put, know that Triple H guy ESP you guys love so hair. much? Who put that in their hair? You'll see. She turns around and Oh, God. Here comes the Catch Republic. Oh, God. And they got beat up, so now they have to have a disadvantage. So many of these little fucktards are going to win. Oh, my God. I hate everything about any of this anymore. Just wait and see what happens, Aletha. And now I hate, I love it. I hate it even more than I did before. Congratulations, wrestling. You have not earned a fan in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Ugh. To give these guys a fucking WrestleMania is disgusting. Oh. <sighs> Pickle's like, did you know Elvis is still alive and is having alien babies? You know, I heard that from those tabloids. It so, is very apparent. I know what you're talking truthful. about, but Elvis is alive. He's like yes. this guy in Memphis. Yeah. He's a preacher. Yeah. Like, it, it blows my mind. And he's having alien babies. There's alien babies! There's no such thing as There's alien, alien babies. babies. The tabloids are always true. Uh, Chris says Zelina and Electra look like they want the scissoring. Oh, God. Chris, I think you have a porn problem, sir. You should probably look into that and get help from a support group. Not from the internet. But not from the internet. <laughs> no to the internet. Not porn hub. Janelle is in the chat. Hey, Janelle says, hi, hi. And people hey, says, Ice Spice is one of the king's offspring. Oh, is she? How? Is it because she looks like an alien? She's kind of cute in her own she weird looks like way. Annie. She does, in a way. Isn't she a devil worshiper or something? Isn't she the one that was at the Super Bowl? Probably. With uh, Swift? Yes. So she's definitely a devil worshiper. Uh, Sophie says, Is there any pay per view Dee actually enjoys watching? I don't think she like any. Which one does she hate the least? <laughs> That's true. Which one do I? <laughs> okay, so WrestleMania used to be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. But then there was this one time, there was this one time that they decided to make it 20 hours. And I was extremely angry about the whole situation um, because it was at a time where I'm pretty sure that the job I had started at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I was not a happy camper. And I I was like, I'm, I'm done. I almost left. And then I had to stay because people were here and stuff. Yeah, it was, it was the one where uh, Roman beat The Undertaker. It was that WrestleMania. It lasted for 2019, was, I guess. It was, I don't know, maybe. It was, I thought it was before then, but yeah, whatever. Before we started this. Well, it was before we started this, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't 2019. I'm pretty sure it was a couple of years before that. In anyways, but, um, so... After that, I've kind of been a little biased towards WrestleMania. And then they made it two nights, and I just fucking hate it. 
I hate everything about it. And I, and this one just makes it worse because instead of making it extra special because it is their 40th, they are literally putting garbage on my TV to watch because everybody needs to be involved. Like every person on the roster needs to be at WrestleMania. And it's like, isn't WrestleMania like the elite of elite? And you guys keep telling me how elite motherfucking WrestleMania is. And I'm looking at it now. I'm going, it's not elite at all. It's just a fucking garbage heap Uh-oh, of look, garbage. They're mad at Dom. What the fuck? Yeah, mom, I'm sorry. But instead, I'm dumb. This is dumb. Isn't it weird that he calls her his mom? I feel like that's pretty weird. Yeah, fucking see. Oh, hey, there was a match going on this whole fucking time, but but it's so not important, even though one of these motherfuckers is going to WrestleMania, that the other shit is way more fucking important. Oh, my God. The shitty part is that they're going to show a whole fucking match when we know that these munchkins are going to make it. I hate so much about any of this anymore. It, It makes me sick. Sick. I hate saying that to you guys, but it really does. And I'm not trying to be all like, I'm the hill. you need a garbage can? I seriously might throw up. I just might throw up. Do you need a barf bag? I need a barf bag. Uh, Like an airplane barf bag. (laughs) Something. I just, ugh. So, ugh. He goes like, gossip, gossip, gossip. (laughs) Robbie says, I'm me, not them. Anyway, how do you know what really happened? Because they only mention... What they wanted you to know in the documentary. Thank you. Okay. And they went overboard on talking bad. So it made it look and so not so to us. if you had the other side, you know it would be good. And so the middle isn't even fucking bad. That's the part I'm talking about. It's like why was it made? Other than the pedophile thing. Yeah, I mean and that stuff can you can look up court records, all that stuff. Uh, you know, you can look it up. It, it's all, that's all documented shit that you can actually see the factual information from. So that's completely different. That stuff you can look up and, and it's there in front of your face. So you can, you could go search for that shit, read all about it if you wanted to. Um, But the other stuff is just hearsay. Like that's hearsay from people saying, oh, this is what happened. He did all this. He he, he was mean to people. He treated people like crap on the set. He was awful to women. Oh, my God. He was so this and that. And it's just like, stop. Stop. You're making it work. You're he making it. And You're making you guys look like idiots. Hornswoggle out here. Yeah, these guys. You can't tell me that's not Hornswoggle. Well, it... Mm, look at his legs. I don't think it's quite him. They're like a foot and a half. <laughs> I think it's his older, I mean, younger, taller brother. But, you know, I mean... You think he's taller? He might be a little, not by much. I mean, only like this much, you know, <laughs> this much taller. Not, not a lot. Three inches, maybe. Anyways, uh, let's see. Sophie says, at least we aren't getting Ray versus Dom 2 for Mania. <laughs> sure. We are too. Sophie says they confirmed Bianca team. versus Dakota for the main event. Yeah. I'm surprised. It's because of the stuff that's going to be happening. I'm surprised they didn't give you the bad because it is on Max, not Nickelodeon. I'm surprised Josh Peck wasn't in support of Drake at first. Uh, Chris says, yep, Elvis, old man. Now I saw the pick. <laughs> Sophie says, wow, the whole week for the first time you guys have blockbuster wrestling shows, in your opinion. Richard Longsifer Jr. or Dick, because I know I'm in the chat. Hey, Dick, how's it going? My man says, who brought the doobies? I don't know. Picola. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Picola, get it. Picola was. Picola. Picola was like at band camp? <laughs> this one time at band camp. 
Uh, Quentin says, I guess Corey Graves is not a fan of Dirty Dom anymore. He can't. He's a he's a nice guy. Baby face. He can't he can't be mean. He has to be all nice. It's gross and disgusting. It's quite yuck. It's yuck on another level of yuck. Uh, Pickle's like, are you a cop? Yeah, Dick, are you a cop? And uh, Sophie says, that's why they made Mania two nights, because fans don't have to sit for 20 hours. I would rather sit for a good seven hours for something that's actually worth the time because it means something than sit for two nights of garbage Mediocrity. shit. Mediocrity. Of shit that makes, it, it. it's not elite. It's everybody's participation trophy time. And it, I, I hate it. I hate, I hate it. I think it's, I think they've made it into a, a joke. It's a fucking joke. Anyways, Piccolo says, you gotta say you're a cop. It's the rule. <laughs> Sophie says, there are fans that hate the two-day mania format and some fans love it. And Piccolo's like, hell nah, it's mid as fuck. Sophie says, mania is supposed to be the Super Bowl of wrestling. And Piccolo says, member berries. A plenty since Dwayne is back and took over the bish. Yeah, that's fucking lame too. That guy needs to go the fuck away and go back to doing whatever the oh, fuck he was doing before. Look, I'm giving her a massage. I'm going to lose my life. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to me too you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to me too moment you. Like, uh, he was so abusive. Sophie says this will be the fourth year in a row, meaning it's two nights. And he was like, the Fiona Foosball from the tabloids, right? Brady, woo, he's a hill. <laughs> So it's like, no, I don't be cool. Quentin says, Dom needs to choose. Is he still with the Judgment Day or Santos? Sophie says, the fifth episode going to feature new voices and footage that for some reason they weren't part of the past four episodes. Oh, good. Oh. Maybe it'll be something that incriminates Snyder. Yeah, like that he's a terrible person and he'll never work in Hollywood ever again because of it. Because he had a girl. Is he in prison? Back row. Who tattled? Um, Pecola says, would be epic if all the Judgment Day has the Dom entrance coming out to straight jacket. Coming out in straight jacket. Right. Well, straight they haven't been in jail, though. Sophie says, with me, whatever I watch, I enjoy it no matter what. And Pecola says, I'm curious to know if Marks are actually excited for the WrestleMania card. Dude, I'm sure they are. If they can't kiss ass enough. Like, they're like, ooh, Triple H is so much better than Vince Carter was. Let me get the rock back. Oh, I'm so in love. Gross. Ayla's in the chat for a second says, me too, laughing. And Pico's like, you too. So if he says, do you think they will do a season two of Quiet on Set? I fucking hope not. And if they do, how? how? Like, who else are they going to ruin mean, like, lives going on? after somebody else? Kill him. Give him the murder. Yeah, there you go. Now stomp on him a couple times. Kill him. They should have thrown him into the crowd like a lawn dart. <laughs> they probably could have. Like, well, we can't do that. They said that was a no. They told us in the back we weren't allowed. He goes, we all too. And it was like silent on set is less about Dan and more about Brian. No, it's not. No, it's not, Ayla. I watched it the fucking whole thing. is not. We watched all four episodes of that shit yesterday. And that shit was not about Dan. Because what's the part about Dan in the next episode? It because... Is, it is all about Dan. They, uh, they, oh, yeah, sorry. It's all about Dan and how, oh, my God, he's such a bad person. And we were waiting for him to be the pedophile and abusing everybody. It's over. The new Catch Republic. Hornswoggle and uh, Butch. Fuck you, WrestleMania and WWE wrestling. Boo in your shithole. Fuck off. Look at this garbage on my TV. Oh, I know. The fucking garbage that is. Jesus Christ. Everybody had to get a trophy. God damn it. They put DYI on there. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he also says, oh, wait, I just want ice cream. No massage saji. <laughs> Whatever. I'll eat ice cream and I'll take the back massage. Fuck that shit. Yeah. And then I'm going to sexually molest Travis. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> 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 Sophie says, 
it's funny a couple of cast members of boy meets world wrote letters to support brian a whole bunch of people did oh yeah there was alan thick that's a big one in mine i was just like what the fuck are you kidding me yeah there was a lot of them that did that you're it was quite disturbing disturbing how many of them did that support right pedophiles. to support him oh he already feels as bad as he can you don't have to put him in jail yeah he feels bad for what he did yeah molesting a little boy with a flashlight whoever and how many other little boys right like because there were pictures of him with what is it the mouth i don't know i heard noise i heard noise too but i don't want to know i was trying to <laughs> ignore it la, 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 la. <laughs> um anyways but uh like his uh Yay. with uh what's his face justin bieber no not him oh, that's daddy. p diddley <laughs> that's the p diddler sorry my bad um oh leonardo dicaprio yeah like the stuff with him like did he write a letter and it makes you wonder if dicaprio maybe had got a little bit of the business and scared and that's why he is how weird he is. <laughs> because he's kind of weird, right? Um, but yeah, so I mean, so many questions that they're never going to be able to answer because they don't want you to know that narrative. Like, they don't want you to know that information because it doesn't fit what they're pointing at. They're like, it's this. And that's all. <laughs> I just want to know the, what judge gives a kid for a dude fucking 16 months for molesting a child. That dude should never be a judge again. <laughs> so he's like, it's funny, a couple of cast members of Boy, oh, I read that. And Ayla says, I watched it. I'm a Nickelodeon kid. Brian went to prison for child crimes. Dan was just mean to his female workers. Brian went to jail for 16 months for his quote unquote child crimes we're talking about. And he also got the support of many, many, many actors saying how it was wrong that he even went to prison. Not only that, but then after he got out of prison, Probation would be he, enough. he got another job Disney. on Disney as a writer, even though he was supposed to not have any contact with kids ever again. I don't think he was a writer, but yeah. Uh, still as a whatever, yeah, whatever behind the scenes director, whatever he did. I don't give a shit. He still got a job there. Right. Okay. Right. And the fact that Dan wasn't just mean to female workers, which he wasn't that mean to unless you are so feel bad about yourself that you have no way to say no and go somewhere else because you're too stupid. He was mean to the kids on there too, but not in the way you think he would be considering how they made him out to be. Like, that's the point. Like I just don't know how they tried to crim like make him look like he was a criminal, and then when you watch it, like, he didn't do anything wrong. And Except now... Except for being an asshole. And now... He's blackballed because some dumb bitch in a costumer decided that because the Me Too movement was happening, so she would make allegations towards him and them saying, oh, yeah, we've heard quite a few other allegations. And then them saying, oh, everybody was just happy as pie after he was gone. Yeah, because now they were being molested quietly instead of somebody just being mean to him. And they don't, I, I, it's, it fucking blows my brain. Like, I seriously never, ever <laughs> want to see any of that ever again. a back massage, and now I'm going to ruin his career. Right? <laughs> like, he fired me because I left and went, I went to a party and uh, and this, and he fired me because of it. And it's like, oh, wah. Oh, wah. Because you weren't there. Because you weren't doing your job? Oh, no. Well, I said I was going to be gone. Yeah, but if you are doing stuff and you're filming, your fucking ass better be there, especially if you're a writer and you want to be taken seriously as a female comedian. Fuck off. Like, the whole thing just... I hate that Me Too movement shit to no end. It, it literally became a joke. What's funny is he didn't, and want, ruined. he didn't want women to work there anyways. Then he allowed women to work there, and then he got fired because the women were there. Yeah. It's like, no wonder he didn't want fucking women to work there. Like, they don't like you being mean to people. How are you being mean to me? I know how I'm going to get you. <laughs> Pickle's like, I guess this is the 2024 Tiger King, huh? I don't know. Maybe. It was like, I don't know. Tiger King for president, hands down, best choice. 
He goes like, by the way, our local prison over in Santa Rosa County had the one and only Tiger King in custody this week. Who is he? I don't I've know. Ne I've, we never watched it. We didn't watch that. Are you Tiger talking stuff. about the real Tiger King guy off of the Netflix thing? Or is this somebody else? I don't know who you're talking about. Sophie says, I think if we didn't have Two Nights of Mania, then we probably wouldn't have The Rock be involved. Good. We should go back to one night and never see his dumbass mug ever again. That would be fabulous. Google is like seeing his mug shot on IG. <laughs> the Tiger King. Do I want to know who it is? It was like Leonardo DiCaprio. It feels like, is he? It was like Hollywood is insane in general. Like, yeah, fucking thing. And the fact that parents were okay with this. That's my, that's my biggest thing. The parents were there and they're like listening to this guy be mean to their kids. And they're like, it's fine. I just want out of the ghetto. It's fine. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? You're an awful parent. You are a terrible, terrible fucking the parent. The one that was the worst is the one that her little daughter got on the internet, saw a dick pic, and then ran off crying. And then she was embarrassed that she might be considered a bad mom. So she's not good. She, me, 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 me. What a selfish cunt. Seriously. Like, like are you fucking kidding me? And then, not only that, then years later, they come to her about it. And she's like, oh, oh yeah, that happened. I'll go to court. I I'll have my daughter talk about it now. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, now all of a sudden, it's okay? Like, you dumb whore. <laughs> like, awful. Terrible, terrible. Like, it's just so weird to me. Like, what parent in their right mind? Like, I took her out of it, so that would be okay. And it's like, bitch, if that was my kid and some disgusting man, by the way, I wouldn't even let my kid talk to this person if he was an adult in any way. Right. Like, you shouldn't be talking to this person. I don't give a flying fuck. Like, no and no. Would I don't you? care. Like, I was thinking about what I would have done, because I would have probably handled it like I normally handle things. So I would have wrote back as the little girl and say, ew, that's gross, right? Right. And played it and then set up a date. And then I would have beat the fuck out of it. <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, gross that she didn't do anything to, to protect her child. Like, she knew this industry was terrible. She even said it. Like, I knew this industry was bad. Like, okay, now, hindsight, you're saying it's bad? Or you knew before that it My was terrible? My daughter had letters in his envelopes or whatever. He had those plastic bags. But he had other girls' panties. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, Why don't you do something? <laughs> like, so... No, I'm just going to turn the computer off. It's fine. It's so it's bad. The, it's the computer's fault. Anyways. It's so terrible. Like, I'm just like, oh, my God, I hate this. <laughs> Beagle's like, Hollywood weird is just uh, keeping up with the Jones' weird, yeah, on different levels. Sophie says, it would be interesting to see how different this media card would have been if CM Punk didn't get injured. Yeah, if, true. He would have uh, probably been in uh, a match. Yeah. Uh, Picola says, now, Nicolas Cage, he is the standard. <laughs> Old Nick. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sophie says, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a couple of new episodes quite on the set after episode five. It was like, I'm not arguing about it. I'm just saying they're all insane. <laughs> the show was too dramatic. Yeah, they made it that way on purpose. Like, that's how those documentaries are. That's why I think it's set. Did you like, notice it was all women? It was like a, a man witch hunt. It was. it was literally all women. And then when they would bring boys on, men or whatever, it was about the pedophiles. But whenever it was women, it was just Dan Schneider. It was like they just wanted him gone. Like, it was like, holy crap. <laughs> None of the guys said anything bad about him. Yeah. Pico says, oh, no, not Ali Gashens. <laughs> not, not, not Ali Gashens. Uh, so he says, I don't know that Amanda Bynes, all that character was a play on a female body part. Nobody, he wouldn't because See, it doesn't matter. See, that's the perverts that were watching that yeah. shit. That's your perverts. So these perverts watch these old reruns because they're watching porn now. You got to remember at the time, porn wasn't that prevalent. Like to watch porn, you had to like go to a video store. 
at first, right? Like in the 90s, you had to like go rent it or you stole it from your parents or something. Yep. Like it wasn't just available. And then as the internet progressed, porn has become like a big thing. And that's why you're hearing these fucking perverts that are watching these kids shows go, oh, that was a cum shot. Oh, it was all sexual. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It, no, it's Because you're a though. fucking sicko that's watching stupid shit at home on your computer. And making it And, and then making kids play out your fantasy. Yeah. As you're watching Nickelodeon. It's like, you're oh, my God. Weirdo. I watched the shit when it happened. McKenna was a little kid watching it. I didn't one time go, did he just come on her face? <laughs> right. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> These crazy bitches are just watching it going, that's sexual in a way. <laughs> let's find out. Let's make it. Let's find that. Let's find it. It's got to be. And then they're like, and then they were in bikinis, which yeah. I think it's fine for teens to wear bikinis. If they want to. If what that's the, what they want to do. So what's your argument here? Just to talk? <laughs> but she made it out like he did it on purpose and put him in situations oh, yeah. where they were uncomfortable. It's like, did you talk to them? I just did they wasted say they were uncomfortable? fucking three hours of my life watching those because <laughs> I was waiting for Dan Snyder to do something that was inappropriate. <laughs> I know, right? And he didn't do anything. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck was this all about? Like a witch hunt? Now, granted, I, the pedophile stuff. Like, I'm yeah, not, that I'm is, not talking about uh, that. Those people should be dead. Yes. But nasty. That's, yeah, caca. Anyways, we don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's not talk about it anymore. It's over, isn't it? <laughs> no, I meant what we're talking about. All that Nickelodeon stuff. It's like, ugh, I just don't even want to talk about it anymore. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to read the rest of the comments, though. <laughs> It was like, I saw a TikTok. Dan said this and this. Did you tell anyone? Well, no, it was just weird. Dan did this too. Wow. Did you tell anyone? No, just thought it was strange. <laughs> Feels like I need to make a caricature. Call her Allie Gashins. It's an Allie cat with sus dialogue. <laughs> there you go. So it says some of the people who wrote letters admitted they didn't know at the time he was a pedophile. Yeah, he was convicted and went to prison for it. I mean, that's weird. Is okay. LA going to be one of the cameramen? Eagle says, it's him, the weird redneck dude with the bleached mullet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's funny, is it? I, I mean, I know who you're talking about, but I wasn't sure. That's weird. Why would he be a cop? What did he do? Uh, That's strange. Ooh. Did he, the Tiger King guy, did he do something? Is that him? Is no, it him? No. Get him. It's too small. Nobody's, I know you're nobody's here, LA. that little. He's like, it's not him. How little that guy is. Who is he? Jesus Christ. Who is this guy? He's weird. Like he acts Butch? weird. What's wrong with him? He's trying to be cool. Oh, is that what it is? He creeps me out a little bit. It's because one of them's really going to be LA Knight. No. There's games? I want to play games. Friday. Sunday. <laughs> I'm not playing any games at WrestleMania. Look right there. Yeah. No, no. He's so there. <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> it was like his mom didn't want to drive him. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That mom Travis was talking about is awful. She got her 15 minutes of fame she always wanted. Awful. True. Oh, yeah, it's disgusting. disgusting. It was like, I didn't realize there were a ton of porn references on these Nickelodeon shows at the time before that document. There wasn't, there wasn't. Sophie. Stop. It's Stop. the perverts. You're falling that are into the trap. They're making them that way. They work that way. And now, guess way. what? If you think that, you're now a pervert, too. Congratulations. You watch little kids and think of cum shots. You're fucking disgusting. So he says, Where's the Bill Cosby documentary since we fully don't know the story? Right? It was like, Call the police. I literally yelled that. Oh, shit.
Hello? That should work. It's just the other side. We're in the left and now we're in right. Hello? Yeah, Travis broke shit. I tell him to be careful when he puts his feet up and then down. And he wasn't. And he yanked the whole thing off and broke it. I broke a little adapter. A wackadoodle. Infection. He broke it. Still broke it. Here's your main event everybody was looking forward to. We could go early. <laughs> we could go early. Well, we know what's going to happen. <laughs> Esther should win this in about 12 seconds. <laughs> it's Dakota Kai for fuck's sake. As Ayla said earlier, I usually don't watch documentaries because of the drama. I <laughs> just watch the pop. I know it's not facts. Like, that's what I hate about some, like, most documentaries. It's not facts. And so it's annoying. Like, it's dumb. Uh, people's like, I'm so done with this. <laughs> he was like, this conversation about Lisa? As if he says, the girl that was on All That before All That was supposed to get her own show, like Amanda Bynes, ended up getting it instead. Yeah. It's because she grew up. It's fine. People's like, yeah. He was like, too bad. <laughs> people's like, I'm sad. <laughs> so he's like, Rich Holland announced he will be out wrestling for a while. That's okay. People says, oop, what just happened? And you're unplugged, no sound. You said you were done, Fellies. You manifested the sound going out. Chris is like, oh, fuck yeah, Tiffany time. He was excited about Tiffany. And people says, that wasn't me. It was the one-armed dude. He was like, sure. Now we get a silent time. It's in color, though, so it's not as fun. <laughs> right? So he says, we almost got Roman versus Rock and Cody versus Seth at Mini at one point. That would have been terrible. Pucola says, no Leopold to be found. Can't pin it on him. No, he is hunting for a mouse. He caught a mouse and then decided to let it go. He caught a mouse, and instead of killing said mouse, he played with it, let it go, and he's so bad at trying to find it again. <laughs> Yeah, he's not a dog. He caught it twice. That was it. And then the, the last time he tried to play with it and then flung it under something and it ran away. So now we have just a weird mouse hanging out somewhere in the house. It's gross. Uh, Ayla's like, film. And Robbie's like, WWE going in hard today. And Peel's like, yep, it was film. Miss that fella. Yeah, we miss all the armpit questions. I get it. He was at least entertaining. Chris says, Kai is main eventing. L-O-L. So if he says, Ray Romano was also involved with that sketch that I showed in the documentary. Um, okay. Kind of. Just because he was, he was in an actor one of the shows. There on the show? Oh no, how terrible that he had a job. So was that Michael Obama or whatever? Oh yeah, that one was there too. Probably molested children. It was like, I did not miss him. He blocked me, but talked to me anyways. <laughs> right? <laughs> he came back like one time and he's like, can I be a moderator? A mod? And yeah. He disappeared forever. Disappeared again. <laughs> like, obviously you don't want to be a mod. Obviously you're too busy with life, buddy, and that's okay. Because I appreciate our mods who come in here and spend all their free time with us. Because I know that you guys have lives. So I appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out. And doing all the hard work so I don't have to. You know, keeping this place afloat. So he says, wonder how much the Summer Olympics is going to affect WWE programming. None. People won't even know the Olympics are on. Because I doubt they're going to not have wrestling on on Monday night just because of the Olympics. Is it going to be on NBC again? I mean, probably. No. I don't know. Yeah, ESPN. Oh, God. This Monday Night Raw is going to be terrible. Yep. Commercial free. First hour. All they're going to do is talk. They're not going to have any wrestling. Oh, that whole thing's going to be just garbage. Hmm. In Brooklyn. 
Brooklyn, New York. And I was like, can I be mod? In quotations. Everyone in the chat said no. Ha ha ha. He never came back that I'm aware of. Every once in a while, he comes in and stuff. And that's fine. But that's why we tell people. It's like, you have to be here consistently. If you're not here consistently, you can't be a mod. We need consistency. But it's on a Friday. What is? Oh. The Andre the Giant. Royal. That's dumb. <laughs> Ooh, next Friday. Braun Panty match next week. Uh, it almost could Lopez be, depending Zelina on what Vega. outfits they wear. Right. I mean, Zelina Vega has worn stuff that looks like she's in her brown panties. Sophie says, oh, the first hour of Raw will be commercial free. Yep. Peagle says, my neighbor, whom I played cards with. He drives an 18-wheeler for a living. Oh, really? For a living? He blew out his driver's side tire in the middle of rush hour traffic yesterday. That's fucking scary. Yeah, that's lucky. That's fucking scary for him. Scary for everybody else. That's terrifying. Poor guy. All those people are going to be so upset. Like, oh my god, I was on TV. And all they were was just a progressive commercial advertisement. Right. <laughs> A little over 10 minutes left. It's like they're going to make this match longer than it should be. It depends. It's Dakota. It's Esther. Well, so I mean, it depends on how long it takes them to get the fuck down there. It might take her sweet time getting in them out. Who knows? Is like FOA living? My friend Chalice drives semis for FOA living. So it says, so the Andre the Giant Battle Royal is going to be on SmackDown for the second or third year in a row. Yeah, yeah, because God forbid they put it on WrestleMania where it really belongs. Well, if they do that, then they'll have to do the women's on there. Ayla says, he hauls hay. He tipped over once. Yeah. So he says, do you think Disney will do a quiet on the set type of Dr. Mary one day? Well, hopefully Disney I don't think it's Disney it. that would do it. <laughs> I'm know. pretty sure it's individual, like, independent contractors that would do it on Disney. And it, it would have to be somebody that's out to get them. And I don't know if Disney's done anything really wrong that's been proven out there. They hired that Brian Beck guy. They hired a molester. Can you imagine doing a whole series just to say that you did that? Mm -hmm. They already did a whole series on what he did. Oh my god, look at this fucking rating. 95 and 78. Fuck off. Dakota it should already be done. Dakota this should, match should be over. Dakota should nowhere near be a 78. That's, she's like a 66. <laughs> Come on, Esther. Yeah, and then Esther's one of the best in the world at 95. Like I said, this match should already been over. Mm-hmm. So if it says, why can't SmackDown be commercial free? It's on because Fox. they're on Fox. Oh, Esther's in trouble. Oh my God, let's take a break. All I know is Esther better win first before they do the big old crap at the end. Because that's why they're doing this in the main event. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you're going to see Naomi come down. It's going to set up a tag team match. Yeah. Greatest moment in my entire life. The car fox. Mm hmm. Want it? 
No, it's carpet. You broke it. Here, put that there. Do you need it to know what you need for the next one? No. That's not going to tell me anything. The part that's still stuck in there would tell me. You're dumb. Mm -mm. You broke it because you were so excited for your pink down. I just wanted to get up, yeah. I was thinking about making a thing for it anyway. <clears throat> okay. So it's angled like that. Right. Because as, um, by the way, my apologies for missing y'all on Wednesday. That's okay. We understand. Yeah. This time. Life happens. Don't leave us on Wednesdays. Wednesdays but is, next time Wednesdays. I will not forgive you for making my Wednesday awful. It was horrible. It was boring and stupid. It was us and Vindicator the whole time. I mean, not that he's not entertaining. Yeah, Vin's fun. I like Vin, but it was just sad. It was extreme sad. We're going to play video games <laughs> next weekend or next week. Yeah, we had literally talked about it. So it was like, why can't SmackDown be commercial free? Oh, we read that. Yeah, Summer Olympics is going to be on NBC. Mm. Piccolo says, haven't really been sleeping well lately. Have you been exercising before going to bed? Have you had anxiety? Yes, I bet. Are you doing breathing techniques? Probably not. <laughs> Sophie says, there are people that say this past Monday's Raw was the best Raw that we have gotten the past few weeks. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Is it because they're brown nosing The Rock? Yeah. Is that why? Is it because they're The Rock fans and they're like, oh my God, he's so amazing. And they like stuck their nose right up all in it. Just Hopefully out of curiosity. he uses a bidet. That's all I'm saying. I don't think so. And he probably doesn't bleach it either. Rubbing noses with the brown eye. Sophie says, wonder why they stopped putting the Andre the Giant Battle Royal on the Mania card. They did set up Rock versus Cody to happen at a future pay-per-view with the way The Rock beat him down this past Monday. Oh, God. That wasn't a gut buster. She landed on her hands. Oh, God. This was a terrible <coughs> Well, angle. that time she landed on her face. Why do they keep doing it? Is she a basketball or something? I have no idea. Where did Ravi go? Did you die? last comment was WWE going in hard today and that was it and now he's gone Brandon Stevens says NXT stand and deliver in Philadelphia yeah uh, next weekend. it's happening so he says Walt Disney has done bad stuff when he was alive oh, Lord. he did not no, he didn't he was a perfect gentleman and he's cryogenically frozen to come back and rip everyone a new one for their stupidity for and what they've done channel. to his whole fucking empire of stuff Ruined. That was dumb and lame. Oh my god, it's still happening. Jesus this needs Christ. to end. This is dumb. This is not even. This is a no. Like they're trying to make like Dakota Kai something special, and it's like, look, I get it. Like she was something at some point, kinda. No, she really was. But I said kinda. I didn't say fully. But this is just lame. So if it's like Carmella versus Trick will be the main event of that NXT pay-per-view next weekend. Shawn Michaels confirmed it today. Oh, Lord. Oh, well, there's a if, good reason not to watch it is then. Is Hermie going to be on there? Hermie. <laughs> well, he better be. It's a major pay-per-view. But... <coughs> <coughs> Got Mighty Mouse and Hermie. On the car. Sophie says, I have been sleeping okay lately. Oh, that's good. Sleeping I bought okay. a gajillion dollar bed and I sleep pretty good on it. Are you sleeping better than you did before? Yeah, I just was hurt from something else, I think. Because I feel fine now. Yeah. 
Stephanie says, wow, I like that they're putting the most played superstars in WWE 2K24. Yeah. Of Cody, the women. Cody Rhodes, no, just all of them. And now this is women, yes. But they yeah, had the they did the men uh, on Monday, I think. Or no, they did uh, all of them. Most played oh. superstars on it. Because Rhea was on Trish there. Stratus is still on there. Can you imagine being a modern day woman? Like uh, Trish Stratus is above us. That's pretty bad. That's being played more than anybody else. Yeah, well, she's fifth. Yeah, that's what I mean. More than any other female superstar. That's she's... how bad the women's division is. So if he's like, Woody Woodpecker new movie will be on Netflix in a couple weeks. Is is it a live action? They can't really. That'd be funny as shit. <laughs> End it. No, she's not. She's going to hold on. She's not going to be able to get her. Oh, no, she got away. Oh, she's going to go through. And then she's going to do her move. Oh, she missed her because she got That's out of the knee. way this time. That's her surgically repaired knee. Not the broken knee. Not her, um, whatchamacallit, robot knee. The robot knee. So it was like, I get it. Your Wednesday was horrible because I wasn't here. That's right, Sophie. Yes. It was awful because we used you, you yes. refused to be in here and entertain us. The tabloid garbage and all the rumors. I mean, oh my God. Something. Give me something. Anyway, she'll be playing video games next week, so I'll have it all set up. Nasty landing. Nasty. Nasty girls. <laughs> I pulled a, um, whatchamacallit, Hamstring. music lyric today oh, at nice. work, when I was at work. I was, um, teams messaging somebody, mm -hmm. and I said, hello, are you there? Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> and then I was like, no, really, yeah, that's they not. let her get it first. Oh, good. And I was like, not really. I really need to know if you have a moment. <laughs> and they didn't. I was like, that's Okay. I could talk to you about it on Monday. <laughs> I think they thought maybe it was like a personal thing, but I was like, no, it has to do with a member. So, but it's fine. It, it can happen on Monday. No big deal. <laughs> oh, I like that dumb, dumb person's coming down. Like, oh my God, look at me. I'm going to jump on you in my alien suit. I hate everything that's happening on my TV right now. So he says most people have played video games instead of watching a boring show. We can just have it both. It's not really so much that it's boring. It's just that it's dumb. Like, it's the fact that he's doing everything backwards in his shows and it's driving me absolutely bonkers. Like, nuts. Like, he puts the bigger stars on first, and then he ends the shows with nobodies. And... Like, just shit. Like, he's trying to make his supposed, I spent all this money person on this person, his main thing, and it's annoying as fuck. Yeah, Will it. Ospreay, he's making look like a jobber. Yeah, it's gross and stupid. Pico's like, whoa, whoa, has to get some backup. Yeah, it's not working out so well either. Oh, hey, here's Jade. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my fuck. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done now. I'm, I'm done. Fucking Triple H. I'm fucking done. It's like, oh, look, they're all three black. I have an idea. Let's put them together. Hopefully Jade joins them. I don't care. I don't want her to be involved in any of this shit. Jesus fucking Christ almighty. Fuck off. So if it's like Hermie will be facing Tony... D out that next NXT oh, pay per view. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, the men's division down there is in scrambles. It's disgusting. But the women's divisions are great in NXT. It's basically a woman's show. Mm -hmm. I hate everything about this. Well, I like to look at Jade, but. Well, I mean, I like that part. But the part I don't like is. Her being friends with these people. I don't. I... They needed to keep them away from each other. Fuck off. WWE. I 
want her to turn around and just slap him in the face or something. Yes. This is hey, bullshit. everybody. Like, and she's like, oh, hey, we're all the same. And Fuck then Naomi acting you. disgusting. I hate, I hate, hate, hate. Like, hate, hate, hate. Double hate. Loathe. Entirely. Fucking retarded. How dare they? What a ruining, what a way to ruin somebody. Congratulations. Ugh. Sophie's like, yes, yeah, live custom. Ew. And P. Cola says, roll tide, everyone. <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, thanks for joining us tonight for SmackDown and uh, uh, Triple H being just like Vince. Congratulations. Everybody who wanted him gone, well, he's not really gone. Good job. I'm glad that you guys love him so much. Anyways, have a fabulous weekend and happy Easter to everybody um, who participates in that, I suppose. Um, if you don't, just get some candy anyways, because the candy is really good. Anyways, uh, we'll be back again on Monday for Raw. It sounds like they're going to do the first hour commercial free. And, of course, this next week is the week right before WrestleMania, so they're going to have nothing happening. It's going to be boring and bad. Anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Make good decisions. Find lots of eggs and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching Wrestling Gap. Bye-bye.